Cartwheel Assassin a go go. Intelligence assets report several vulnerable cogitator stations in the area. I realized in that, uh, in that clip I liked, my, uh, my anime guardian tanks those DDs like a champ. He gets hit by both the DDs that I get hit by, and his health doesn't really move very much. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember the anime guardian being very, very tanky for some reason. Like, I don't know, I guess because it had meat shield and it was just always in my auras, it would just never die. It was pretty sick. Little kingmaker action, you know? Yeah. Some leer cast. Breath of the Dying. Yep. As always. You are desolate. You can also do. I don't know if you could do this at the time, but you can do the the extra curse tech. You give your uh, guardian some wind shrieks, and then you can give him a curse on the gloves or whatever. Oh, that was as long a thing? As... I, I don't know when that became a thing. I guess you could do it back then, right? When she has been in the game for a while. We've got a good deal of information, but there's more. Locate other cogitator stations. Oh yeah, it's been in the game for a while. But yeah, if you only have one curse, then you can give your guardian plus one curse, and then it'll, he'll apply it. Yeah, okay. It in, the, in the second slot instead of the first slot. People do that a lot. If you're playing like a poison summoner, people do that a lot with uh, Astonites because then you get temp chains and despair. Or... You get a free temp chains without having to get double curse, and it's a level one temp chains, but you don't care because it still gives you the full buff effect thing. Makes Plus, sense. you get you get explosions that scale off your minion damage. Boom boom. Pretty big value. And your guardian doesn't even have to curse the enemy to get the explosions. They just have to be cursed by something, and the guardian has to be nearby. So. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. All right. Yep. We're finally done. We're done with the cartwheel assassin. Game. <sighs> yeah, it's funny how the Asenath explosion isn't explode on kill. It's an aura that makes enemies that die near you explode. They can get killed by anything. They, they don't even... Oh, I guess they do have to be affected by your curse. 